Hey Squirts, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what's going on with you guys as well. Um, thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks. I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's hop in, let's see. Make sure you guys are subbed, um, subscribe, share, comment, and like um, the reading. All right, that love is very much so appreciated. Okay, so let's see. Could be dealing with a Gemini or Pisces, or you have those signs in your chart. So let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and artists. Please return to spell work and the dark magic that is sent to harm Scorpio and the loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender, blocking the interference that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Scorpios. And protect me as I channel the messages for Scorps. What's going on here for Scorpio? Okay, spirit numbers, intuition, archangels. You guys could be seeing 1111. 1111 came up in Aries reading or did it? When did I just see 1111 at? Or maybe Virgos. What spirit numbers with int uh, intuition? So the police. So, so somebody is being warned here by our police about uh, an arrest. Trouble getting pulled over. What spirit numbers here with the police? So somebody's being warned, or somebody has a warrant out for their arrest. Waiting for an apology. So spirit, spirit is warning you about someone here that you are waiting for an apology from. For some of you, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the shapeshifter that fears losing you. <laughs> Yeah, this person is hiding their true identity. You can't even see this person's face. Curious about you? Beware. Deceitful, evil female energy. Yeah. So yeah, this um, there's a shapeshifter here that your that your spirit team is warning you about, or they ask is being warned to leave you the fuck alone. Yeah. What else? Trust the process. What's that? Pisces. So listen to your intuition. Pisces is a 12th house energy. Let's trust the process with Pisces or trust the process with this Pisces. Okay, dreaming of you, wishing, longing for you. I feel like there's a lot of illusions here. <laughs> like a lot of illusions. But Pisces is a really lovey-dovey sign when they're in the upright. Like I love Pisces people. <laughs> I love all water signs, really. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm a Taurus, so... I like all water signs, really, to be honest. But, so yeah, I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. Somebody here could be astral traveling. This definitely looks like an outer body experience or something. What else? Or oh, this Pisces, they're low vibrational Pisces. Look, who is Pisces? <laughs> okay, tag teaming. Absolutely not. Or somebody is tag teaming to stop you from being with this Pisces. What's Pisces with tag teaming? Leveled up here. So somebody, these there's people here trying to tag team against you after you didn't already what? You leveled up or this is a test. This is a level up here. You're being tested by a bunch of loser hoes. That spirit already know that you're going to whoop the fuck out of. So, but I feel like for some of you guys, you didn't already leveled up and it's just time for you to trust your intuition at this point. What's dreaming of you? I feel like somebody's like trying to send you signals or they're trying to like okay so for some of you guys for some of you you're seeing angel numbers and you're thinking that that's something good they're warnings they're not anything good for whoever this is right here you're going to forever be waiting for an apology for someone they're not going to never apologize it's an illusion it's an illusion spirit is warning you right now that you need to be mindful what's the dreaming of you the spirit numbers are warning you, not giving you, yeah, okay, feminine energy in the reverse. <clears throat> What's feminine energy reverse for dreaming of you? Get out, exit. Unhealthy attachments, lifetimes together, stuck in old ways. And 
So this feminine energy, this could be a distorted feminine. That somebody's trying to get away from. Or somebody, this distorted feminine is trying to kick you out of somebody else's energy. But I feel like you don't even want this person. They're dreaming of you. Or whatever. Or this person is doing magic on you. To cause some sort of illusions here. They're trying to like, they're doing something. You, I feel like whoever this feminine energy is right here, you have past lives with them, man or woman. Or you have past lives with them because you were connected to somebody they're connected to. So they remember you from past lives. They're attacking the fuck out of you. What else? To confuse you about someone else on purpose because they just, I don't know, they're a bitch. We got both still in love and hold your power. Right. Who's both still in love? Yeah, celebrating out the blue. Made the wrong choice, traitor. What's both still in love, man? Get away, disappearing, leaving. Who's both still in love with get away? Healing energy. So somebody's trying to get away from something because you have a healing energy. Okay, like they're trying to come towards you. And run from whoever this feminine energy is. There's spell work, like a lot of it. What's hold your power? Enemy, exactly. There's an enemy here. Somebody working against you. Let's hold your power, child. With enemy. <laughs> Tribe in the reverse. Third party influences involving themselves in the connection. Yeah. So this is you. You're with somebody, or you could be. Coming into union with somebody new or later or you're already with them, that there is no third party. Like that, like I just told Aries, ain't no but ain't spirit is not gonna put you in no third party mess or tell you like, yeah, you should sit around and wait for people that think that this is their twin flame. You should sit around and wait for your twin flame to, to get away from a third party. Ain't no twin flame. Spirit is not gonna put you with a twin flame that's get, that's in the third party. That's not no twin flame. <laughs> that's just that's just not what it is. They're not gonna set you up like that. My catalyst twin had a, had a third party. And that, that's exactly what they was, a catalyst twin. And not everybody has catalyst twins, but my catalyst twin had a third party. That wasn't my real twin. So I don't, let's see. And there's definitely a such thing as catalyst twins. If you go look it up, it'll, it'll explain. So yeah, somebody's trying to be an escapist child. They're trying to get away from something. What's what's the spirit numbers here? With this police and waiting for an apology, yeah. Gemini Libra Aquarius, a damn liar. This King of Souls in reverse is a liar. They're scatterbrained. They don't know they're damn right from they left. Somebody just is just they make really dumb decisions or they're very overly critical. They're very judgmental of others. And obviously you. They judged you wrong or whatever somebody's like speaking negative over your life or something like that but somebody's like trying to control something what's the spirit numbers with king of souls reverse you're never going to get an apology let alone the truth <laughs> from this person yeah five of cups in reverse yeah this is you i feel like you've healed from this person scorpio mars is here yeah somebody just they don't want to be authentic at all they're just a liar so you've healed from them. You're done with it. You're not grieving about the past or nothing like that. The contract is over. Four of Wands reverse. What's the King of Swords reverse? Yeah, Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody here that was on your, your contract that there was a repeated lesson with over and over again. But it was happening like that because you needed to learn from them. And if you kept, if you're going to keep like now, if you go back to this person, you're going to learn another one. It's not going to be, you're not going to get what you want out of this person. This person is scatterbrained and they would rather be fake than tell you the truth about something. And you know that they're lying about something. So why keep doing this over and over again? Yeah. This page of wands in reverse is definitely predictable behavior. Something is predictable about this king of swords now. What's king of swords reverse page of wands reverse? Yeah, the temperance. I feel like this is you healing from this person or you being protected from them. This emperor in the reverse is different energy. I feel like that king of swords in reverse, the, both of these people are on your Akashic records. They're in your blueprint to your destiny. They play a big role. But this emperor in the reverse is a true narcissist. And I feel like this king of swords in reverse is somebody that you dealt with on your journey that just kept lying. 
maybe they didn't treat you bad, but lying is bad. But I'm saying like they didn't treat you like this narcissist would treat you. They had a different energy, but they're still a liar though. <laughs> I feel like this person is being attacked by spell work too. Whoever that King of Swords is. So your spirit team with the temperance here is protecting you. Yeah, they're protecting you from this person. This is restoration or peace and harmony being restored into your life. Yeah, now somebody is, I don't know, man. They sitting there on some dumb shit. But this emperor in reverse, I feel like they're sending you energy. This is them sending you some sort of like, they're trying to communicate with you, this emperor in the reverse, because they want to reconcile. But I feel like this is somebody that's holding on to, gr uh, to grudges against you, trauma, pain. They're trying to send you some sort of signals. And these are false synchronicities. So this is whoever this is doing spell work on you. They're trying to play in your Akashic records to, yeah, look, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody's deeply regretting being with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Or this is like, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is conjuring up something. They're doing root work or something like that to cause you to have nightmares or be haunted or whatever this is. Or this is that King of Swords in reverse in deep regret. From being with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Or something like that. I don't even feel like these are the same people. But whatever. It could be. Who knows. It was Five of Cups reverse. I feel like it's all interconnected though. That's why it's hard to explain. Because it's a domino effect. It's playing out different for everybody. So it was Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. Something on your karmic contract. <laughs> So the Wheel of Fortune is, is things turning in your favor. The wheel is turning for you. You're healing. You're purging. You're over something or over these hoes. <laughs> you're getting good karma. <laughs> Somebody's at the bottom. This person is holding on for dear life on this wheel. Yeah, somebody just keep on trying to like... hang on to this the, you it's not working what's the five cups reverse with the will of fortune yeah the moon reverse and the queen of wands in the reverse yeah something has been revealed the truth has came out about this queen of wands in reverse competing with you or now that you're aware of your own insecurities and your own lack of confidence and the reason why you keep on going back to this king of swords things can change but I feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse is a bully. Somebody here is insecure. They have a low self-esteem. They're a loser. And they're very promiscuous or whatever. So something has come out about them. Now that the truth has came out or you're, you see what this is, the wheel is turning for you. You see somebody keep on lying about, I feel like somebody keep on lying about this Queen of Wands reverse or something. Or this bitch keep on doing something. I don't know. But this, but this Queen of Wands reverse is competing with you. <laughs> and that's why... You will never fucking get an apology from this King of Swords in reverse because either they know something about this bitch that they're, that they're not telling you or this Queen of Wands. I just heard too, this Queen of Wands in reverse could be doing some sort of magic on this person to cause them to self, definitely self-destruct, but to block off their intuition or to cause them to keep making the wrong decisions or to, um, what is the word I'm looking for? To, yeah, to be so to self decept like they're self deceptive. Somebody here is not thinking clear. It's because of this Queen of Wands in reverse that's attacking them, or they keep on dealing with this Queen of Wands in reverse. They keep on soul time with them, having sex, whatever the fuck. That's why this person knows you from a past life. This this female energy, this feminine knows you from a past life because of the attachment to this King of Swords in reverse that you had in a past life. Now you're free. You're free and you, I feel like you left their ass out in the cold and it's done. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no spirit is not going to set you up with no damn quote unquote twin flame that got a third party. That just, I don't know. It's just not making sense to me. It never does. <laughs> like it just never did. That's why I got confused on my own journey because like, I just always knew something was off. Like that's not no damn twin flame. Ain't no twin flame going to abuse you, harm you, just send you to the upper room. Like ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to do that or put no bitch in front of your face, throw it in front of your face. Your twin flame love, the real twin flame union is divinely guided. It's God ordained. It's orchestrated. Why would the fuck would God send you the devil to be with long term? <laughs> like the devil, you're supposed to be defeating that. Yeah. 
So anyways, what's this? What's trust the process with this all this other stuff? Tag teaming, leveled up, whatever. Yeah. The six of wands are reversed. Yeah, a whole bunch of hoes that's clout chasing. They they fame hungry. They like attention or they need validation. But this is somebody here lost. That's a failure. What else for this? The hangman here. So yeah, somebody what failed at sacrificing you because you didn't sacrifice somebody else's ass. <laughs> You're not gonna get stuck nowhere. Just period. So the hangman is 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 a shift in perspective, releasing, letting something go as well, a realization making sacrifices or oh, there's like a whole group of people here that's stuck i don't know <laughs> but they definitely lost so let's stick some on reverse yep two of cups <laughs> there's a relationship here and it's not neither one of these hoes either so there's love here this is a soulmate energy, a twin flame, or whatever. Whoever you with now, or whoever's coming in, these people lost because you're in the connection, or you're going to be. There's love here that is very strong. Let's six of wands reverse with the two of cups. Or somebody here, they need validation, or they need attention, they need something. Somebody, people are tag teaming to do spell work on you to confuse you about who you're supposed to be with. So you can what go back to this liar. This person, something just happens over and over and over again. There's a repeated lesson, a repeated pattern with this King of Swords in reverse. They keep on doing something over and over again. Either they're doing spell work on you over and over again. Or this is them. Every time you come back to them or they come back to you, you never get your apology for whatever the fuck they did. And they always get confused. They never tell you the truth about how they feel or what's going on with a third party. It's like the same shit over and over again. This is like how these people are trying to sacrifice you. What's six of wands reverse to a cup to stop you from having true love or a real partnership? Yeah, the eight of pentacles in reverse. Something is not working. Somebody's like trying to do something to cause a breakup. <laughs> like dead ass Virgo energy. So this is something. Somebody here wants you to get bored or they want you to stop focusing on something with the eight of pentacles reverse. Or the fact that you're not focusing on them is what they're trying to get you to focus on. You get what I'm saying? Like... So, but something is somebody's doing something over and over again to um, block a love and it's not working. This could be, that's because you're with the right love. Somebody like doesn't know what they're attacking with a dumb ass. And if they do, they're even dumber because that's like, bitch, are you stupid? Trying to attack a relationship that God brought together. It's not working. Or somebody's like doing magic to make, to, to shape, like they're doing magic to cause the illusion of a love that's not there it's just an illusion you get what i'm saying like somebody is just pathetic yeah. oh they could be doing love magic somebody's doing love spells or something like that but the eight of pentacles in reverse is definitely uh, somebody ain't master shit about themselves or non-committal what the fuck is this eight of pentacles in reverse <laughs> oh man or somebody's trying to ruin somebody's reputation yeah look ten of pentacles in reverse you gotta steal your inheritance could be a virgo doing this or whatever. Or this other person over here is non-committal, but the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, that's like, um, or something ain't working because you broke a generational curse. Yeah, you're a trendsetter. You broke a, a curse off of your bloodline and now you found true love. So whoever trying to keep doing this shit, they already lost. And if they trying to attack a twin flame union, bitch, you definitely gonna get your shit blown up quick. Because that ain't one relationship you need to hear the truth. So you, you're not finna don't do that. <laughs> so it's just not. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is somebody here that faced their wealth as well. Or there's a lot, like a lack of stability, security. There could be a business falling apart or an empire has fallen apart. People could be losing their jobs, losing their homes. This could be divorces and shit. But somebody could be trying to steal your spiritual inheritance. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Pentacles reverse. One, two, three, four is on the clock. Yep. Okay, good. I'm glad she flipped them upright. So, yeah, I feel like that's you, Scorpio. Yeah, so you could be a healer. I feel like you literally healed your bloodline. That's why something is not working. This is this is you being a white witch here, or you're a healer, or both. Or they all the same thing. They all go hand in hand. You have the power here to heal your bloodline. And break this curse off of your love life, or whatever this is, off your money too, possibly. I feel like it's all tied in. Whatever relationship you're in now is tied into your abundance. 
So this is why something is not working because you didn't already pass the test. You didn't already broke free or something with they dumb ass. What's the hangman? <laughs> Somebody swear they know everything about your life. Whoever the fuck attacking you, you can't even tell. It don't, well, <sighs> Knight of Cups. What's the hangman with the Knight of Cups? Exactly. Somebody attacking your love life. The Knight of Cups with the Page of Pentacles reverse? Like, child. Yeah, so somebody's attacking someone that actually genuinely loves you, that genuinely wants to date you, or there's somebody's like doing magic to glamour themselves and to put on this, I don't know, man. It's just like pathetic. But I feel like this is just somebody's like divination spying on who you're dating. And then they go and attack it to block your love life, but it's not blocked. Somebody's like doing uh, magic on somebody that truly loves you. True love broke the spell, period. Or this is somebody. These, this is somebody that probably truly wants to date you, but they're under a, attack, and you can't do nothing with that. That's not the person that spirit has for you. What the fuck can you do with that? Wait. No. <laughs> I don't see you. I don't see you. You know what I'm saying? You could have been waiting on somebody, but I would advise you not to. But I feel like, like I don't. You're not like you got to wait for somebody to change something at the core of themselves, and if they're under like, but. That, like I said, there's really no excuse, really, to be honest, because it's like you probably were under attack, too, but you changed. You worked through it. If somebody can't do the same thing, then they're not your person. You know what I'm saying? That's just as simple as that. What the fuck can you do with somebody that don't want to change? If they can still be getting smacked by spell work, then I feel like you need to move on. It ain't no, oh, but, you know, they're under attack and maybe I feel like I should wait. I done been there, too. Don't do it. You're going to delay your union with your person. <laughs> no. What's this page of pentacles reverse? Yeah, six of cups. Yeah, somebody's attacking like your inner child. <clears throat> They're attacking something about your past lives, man. It's like really that deep for somebody. Yeah, look, the high priest is this, your subconscious. For some of you, this is somebody from your childhood attacking you. You could have children with whoever this is. Somebody that you dated in your past lives. This Hierophant in the reverse with the High Priestess upright. This could be a fallen twin that's doing this. It's a fallen twin flame that feels like they know everything about your love life that's attacking you. This King of Swords up here is somebody that you've dated. They were in a karmic contract at some point that something kept going loop-de-loop-de-loop -loop -loop with this person. And you're done dealing with them and you're moving on. You found new love. So whoever this person, this person over here think that they're attacking you. And yeah, they're competing. This warlock. That's your ex. That's the person that's attacking you. So what, let's see. What's the page of Pentacles reverse six of cups? Could be another Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. Yeah, the strength card reverse. <laughs> So yeah, somebody's attacking your, your self-esteem, your confidence, something about your ego. That's why you need to break free of your ego. Balance that shit out. Because this is what they were attacking until you, what, shifted your perspective? Something about your ego, yeah. This person gets a kick out of attacking you. <laughs> and then you feed into your ego and then they get what they want through the attack. Out of the attack, your fallen twin or a person from your past life that... Is hate is an enemy now. They're an enemy to you in this lifetime. And they're mad probably because you don't want to be with them. And you're dating everybody else but them. So they feel like they're going to attack your love life. And then I feel like you're already witchy. So you already attract men possibly or women that have karmic exes that do spell work and all kind of shit like that. It's just like a whole bunch of shit, man. But the shrimp card in reverse is somebody feeling inadequate or insecure. Or this could be your, your wounds here. For some of you, there's somebody from your past that feels this way. They keep thinking about you or there's like nostalgia. Or this, that King of Swords over there possibly. I don't know. But I feel like all these, it's so crazy because all of them sound the same. That's the trick of the enemy. All of them, they're same spirits and just different bodies. They all act the same way. Maybe one is not as bad as the other. One is not as abusive as the other. But they all get you fucked up in some sort of way. <laughs> it's like, it's just the same shit. Mm -mm -mm. some sort of entity on your bloodline it's a dark spirit on your bloodline what's this knight of cups 
yeah look ten of cups your happily ever after a divine love here so yeah some of you guys are getting ready to get proposed to or you're getting good news but this is happiness wholeness completion and i feel like now that you've reached that you're gonna find a, a love that's just nice if you keep your heart open because the goal is for you to keep it closed off and then choose the wrong person like you're not gonna find nobody with a closed heart like you, you, you're not genuinely going into connections with the open heart. You're going into connections with a, with scared energy or like, I'm going to get hurt. So let me prepare. Let me get rid of them first before they hurt me type shit. <laughs> like that, that's what's going to keep you stuck if you're moving like that. So the queen of pentacles, you need to be welcoming. You need to still be nurturing. You need to still be your true authentic self, whether you get hurt or not. And that's just life. You got to fight through it, push through it. It hurts. But you got to do it. It's the truth. Yeah, it's swords. Yeah, like, you're going to have to fight through that. Love is the highest vibration. So if you don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> Some people, they just give up on themselves. So, Ten of Cups, yeah, that's family, bliss, happiness, a divine love. Your true Ten of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like somebody else is stuck. They're stuck. They're trying to sacrifice the fuck out of you and this person, but it's not working. That's what I'm saying. Like something is just not working. Because <laughs> I feel like you do the inner child healing. You actually are working on yourself. You're completing. You're leveling up. It's say that. You, you've completed something. Yeah, you're free. You done leveled up. So it's like this shit about to be over. Or it is. So what's hold your power with uh, both still in love? exactly let's see i feel like that's you and this knight of cups ten of cups yeah the devil in the reverse exactly capricorn energy so yeah this is you taking your power back you are holding your power you taking your power back what else yep it's in the soul reverse and the page of soul is in the reverse yeah <laughs> gemini energy Yep. So you broke some sort of curse off you, like I said, or some sort of plan didn't work. And now somebody asking getting ready to hit rock bottom. Something getting ready to get worse for them because they keep playing in your energy, trying to play these mind games or trying to cause paranoia. Or just they bitch ass that's paranoid and scared. This enemy, they don't have no more third party to work with. They're seeing that now. They got the wrong information. <laughs> they got the wrong information here. <laughs> like somebody's a fucking dumbass. What's this set of swords reverse? Y'all hoes gonna learn one way or the other. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, this is you having mental clarity. Standing in your power, holding your power. Manifesting. Your manifestations could be getting ready to come in because you're overcoming the bitch assness, the nagging, the gossip, the cursing. You're overcoming it. It's not affecting you. What's the Swords reverse with the magician? Yeah, the hermit. Because you're doing your shadow work or you're introspecting. You're self-evaluating, you're working through challenges, problems, obstacles, and you're working together with your person as a team. And that's what they don't want to happen for you. So this is definitely spiritual enlightenment. This could be you doing your shadow work. You're very, very uh, smart. Yeah. This page is so reverse. Yep, the star. Let's page your soul reverse with the star, Aquarius, and the justice reverse. <laughs> yeah, so the justice in reverse is what? A lack of accountability, Libra energy, a lack of accountability, or um, something not being fair, or justified, or balanced. Something is out of whack. Somebody can make it some bad karma. Or you're healing from some sort of um, karmic thing. This part of your karmic contract is healing or is is breaking off of your energy so that way you can be able to manifest what you're trying to manifest the hermit with the magician strong virgo somebody here is an alchemist this is you transmuting energy or yeah you're transmuting something with that temperance thank you spirit very powerful <laughs> a master alchemist literally man or woman I feel like this is you. You're a woman here. With the, the, then, though, if you're with your person, that's even more of uh, manifesting power and things like that. Mind control. You know how to control your mind. You got clarity. Strong mental clarity. 
So yeah, the stars, like you having faith that something is going to work out or there's a positive turnaround in a situation. The star in reverse, I mean, the star upright is your wishes being fulfilled. I feel like this is you going towards your north node and your destiny. You feeling inspired. Yeah, so somebody little plan is getting ready to backfire. It's not working or somebody's like evil on you trying to like, I don't know. Somebody's just like really lame. What's the justice reverse? Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Chaos, havoc. Something being out of control. It's justice reverse to a pentacle reverse. Yeah, this little group is over. That's what I'm saying. This this king of pentacles in reverse, your spiritual spouse that called themselves attacking you and trying to tap into your Akashic records. This bitch is the one with this very strong past life connection to you. And they try to be real methodical too with whatever they did with these third party hoes to attack you, this warlock. That shit is over with. It's done. This greedy ass, bum ass, king of pentacles in the fucking reverse. Your ex-husband in the spirit, they ass is divorced. That means they ain't getting shit from your energy no more. Shit is over with. Somebody here that don't want to learn from their past mistakes or just, they just fucking dumb. It's over. <laughs> so you don't got to worry about it no more. Scorpio, I'm about to call you Pisces. And they think they so slick. I swear, if anybody, people that watch me, you would never miss a beat, honey. <laughs> like, I could see through the fucking cards. You're not finna, you're not finna to, like, do this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you're, just, you're just not finna get one past me. I'm so sorry. Or not, really. I'm not sorry. At all. Somebody might get some bad news. This could be something going on in court too. Oh, this is spiritual law. Somebody that somebody keep abusing. Yeah, and they're trying to sacrifice you for your abundance. Pride, recognition, position, pray for achievements. Antiquity, ancestry, wealth, history, legacy, architecture, power, prestige, isolation, the old guard, and timeless person. <laughs> Try to sacrifice you. Like, bitch, yo ass can be sacrificed. Okay, period. Yeah, so we got number five here, Sagittarius, yarn, hassles, problems, big mess, interconnected. I, I said everything was interconnected. It's all connected here. <laughs> Com complicated, patience needed, future gains, work it out, made up story, many working components, mischief, and out of control. Then we have Aquarius energy, obstacle illusion, not what it seems. Exactly. It's this king of swords. They're scatterbrained. I don't really even really get that they're a bad person. I don't. I just get that this is somebody that's like being taken over by spell work and I feel like they're cursed and your person also curses people that come into your life. I mean, uh, this, yeah, this spiritual spouse that you're divorcing. Okay, yeah, that, that could be what this Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. This person, you're divorcing them. It's over. They can no longer feed off your legacy or whatever. Yeah. And something new is starting. So they lost. But yeah, this person that keep on attacking your love life or whatever, this is them. They curse everybody that comes into your life. But the people that you've met, your life is prophesied, Scorpio. The people that you've met anyway, you've already had deep, deep past lives with them anyways. So you were meant to meet them. Like this person thinks that they know more about your journey than you do. That's what would be pissing me off about this person. They're really slow. <laughs> like you can really outsmart them. It's really, really easy to do. All you got to do is sit here and keep listening to your spirit team and doing the work. Like that's easy. So it says, not what it seems, mirage, trap, unclear, visual effect, confusion, head trip. They, they don't, they honestly don't give a fuck who you with as long as it's not your divine masculine. As long as it's not your divine feminine. Because the moment that you're with them, like I feel like you are now, they're getting blown out. They know it. 10 10, something is over. The magic, the spell work, the confusing you about who you should be dating. Because they know that you ain't coming back to their raggedy ass. So they, they don't really want you to date no damn body. But as long as it's not your divine masculine, they can play around in your energy and laugh later and all that. That's not working. Yeah, so we got trick here, hallucination, hocus pocus, sleight of hand, projection, predictive programming. Exactly. What else? Youth. So mutable energy. Breaking free, yeah, rebellious, insecure, idealistic, on the verge, try things out, naive, hormonal, finding self, impressionable, independent, yeah, something about your past life, I mean, something about your childhood, with impressionable, or something happening in your, in your, uh, yeah, in your childhood growing up, they're, they're preying on your weaknesses to keep you stuck, 
So anyways, we got bedroom here in the reverse. So sexual fulfillment, intimacy, yeah, sensual pleasure, love affair, blah, blah, blah. Sleep, contentment, leisure, nap, sleep on it, alone time. So yeah, somebody here is doing something with your sexual energy. Or people that you've sold tied with sexually, that's ending, that's over. Yeah, actual travel. That's in the reverse. They can no longer do that. They're actual traveling. Mm -hmm. And it's not working. And they're trying to have sex with you in your dreams or they're trying to do sex magic. Yeah, and you're transforming. This is your energy, Scorpio, Phoenix. Transformation, eternal soul, renew, resurrection, rebirth, destroy, rising from ashes, emerge, new era. Yeah, so whoever you soul tied with here. Is, is ending for you. You don't have to worry about this no more because you're purging or you're releasing some past life wounding in your sacral chakra. A new era, alchemy, transmutation, ascension. The end is just the beginning. Yeah, then we have chess here, Virgo energy. Strategy, planning, checkmate, grand design, thinking ahead, tactics, moves, encounter moves, master plan, course of action, <laughs> power play, game theory, consequences of actions. Yeah, they know it's coming. Yeah, pillory. Child, I can't make that shit up. Aquarius, open dishonor, humiliation, finding fault, punishment, abusive, shut down, caught, public ridicule, and mockery, nowhere to run, censure, serving time and vulnerable. <laughs> what else? Person of fire, the trend, the trendsetter leader. Confident, visionary, catalyst, exactly. Energetic, entrepreneur, sexy, outgoing, creative, ruthless, courageous, strong will. We got teacher, actress, entrepreneur, artist, and PR. Then we have friends, Scorpio. Friendship, group, soul tribe, third person. Mm -hmm. Contact, relate, network, show up, hang out, meet in person, social media interpersonal relationships togetherness and friendliness so yeah this is a group of people that hang out together mm. somebody here could be trying to go into the industry or something like that too is what i'm getting they're trying to get uh sworn into something or they are already and they're trying to get to like sacrifice you yeah you have a commitment here then we have old car weary retired exhaustion bone tired Needs restoration, overdue, old habits, die hard. <clears throat> Enduring. <clears throat> the good old days, family patterns, yeah, back in time, stuck in the past and nostalgia. What's pillory? Yeah, Aquarius again. Water carrier, humanitarian, generosity, nobility, balance, calm life. Communication, compassion, unselfish, alleviate suffering, benefactor, care for others, humane, helpful, and ethical. What's personal fire? Okay, we do have a queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, microphone. So you could be exposing something. You could be a person of fire too, or you're exposing something and helping your catalyst twin do something. So I feel like you did, you killed two birds and literally in one stone. For some of you, there's a catalyst twin that you had that you helped awaken or something like that. It's say, okay, or you have somebody that you're with that's actually helping you to use your throat chakra to express yourself, to um, tap into that star energy with that Aquarian energy. Yeah. Microphone, news, trending, broadca broadcast, expression, strong opinion, make known, current events, public speaking. Speak truth, communicate, social media, being heard and speaking up. Yeah, so you you could be in this fired up energy where you're speaking your truth. Yeah, what's friends? Yeah, child. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed sign energy. So that's you. Fixed, stubborn, inner child. Do what you love. Exploration. Boundless energy. Time to play. Demanding attention. Tireless, love to learn. Okay, imagination, delights, and simple things. For some of you guys, this is your divine masculine here in this King of Wands. I'm getting the King of Wands upright. They're going through something. They're learning how to speak up for themselves. There's something going on with their inner child. 
they're learning how to set boundaries and things like that. But somebody else around you is like playing games. Yeah, that's why Spirit's saying trust the process because they could be healing something off their sacred energy too. But anyways, let's see. Labyrinth, Aquarius energy again. So a lot of Aquarius. Lost, delayed, complex, contemplate is complicated. Going inward, spiritual quest, deliberation, long way home to long way home, problem to solve, catch twenty two, a situation to sort out. Yeah, then we have within the next few days and still Taurus energy. Refinement, taste, culture, style, fine tune, concentrate, develops over time. Yeah, purify, filter, draw out, infusion. Spirits, alcohol, perfume, reduction, and cultivation. So, yeah, this is you and your actual person. I'm not talking about nobody that's ghosting you or eh, that's not your person. So, they want you to be impatient with your actual twin. What's, what's within a few days? Cat, Scorpio here, apathetic, disinterested, aloof, my way or the highway, bored, unflappable, cool cat unaffected not my problem what i want when i want it cool and calm and disengaged what's next few days happening soon so whatever happens soon has something to do with you so something here happened where somebody was aloof or they had to figure out their way through this maze with labyrinth that there's delays or complications somewhere probably between you and your person i feel like something getting ready to take off though and within the next few days, something could be getting ready to happen with this maze or whatever this is right here that you and your person have to work through. So maybe they could have been aloof or they could have or they could be kind of aloof right now, but they're not leaving your side. They're not ghosting you. I feel like there's a difference. Somebody could be aloof because they need to spend time to themselves. They need to alchemize this energy. They need to transmute. They need to come up with new plans and new strategies. So somebody could be a bit closed off. But that doesn't mean they don't love you. And it doesn't mean that you should walk away. Your patience is needed. And that definitely don't mean you should walk away and go back towards this King of Swords in reverse. Because they're 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 aloof. That That's like somebody that's going to leave your ass and then come back again. Leave you, then come back again. That's that spell work. Uh, no, that's not. If somebody needs time to themselves to work through their own shadow, then give them that space. Especially if they're not saying, you know, if they're keeping like communication open or it's like, I feel like if you're intuitive, you'll be able to tell what somebody's going through. Just like you be able to tell that this shit ain't what you need. It was labyrinth. It's hard to explain, but yeah, Aries, kerosene, aggressive, accelerate, ignite, determine, fuel, encourage, sustain, powerful, stimulate, yeah, volatile situation, provoke. Watch out, unpredictable, combustible, propel, and hot. What is this? Elaborateness. Night. Okay, Leo. Confident, heroic, messenger. Fearless, assertive, passionate, fighting spirit, persevering, chivalry, honor, determined, obeying orders, brave, daring, strong, companion. I mean, champion of a cause. Yeah, this is, I feel like that's a good masculine here. That's a good masculine that's just determined. Like something is pissing them off so bad that they're actually going to put that work and that anger and put that anger into their work or put that anger into finding their purpose with that night there. Yeah. To figure something out. This person is not giving up on themselves or this is you. Yeah, exactly. We're still here with Taurus energy. Yeah, master Capricorn. Yeah, discipline, working smart, focus, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcome, control, learning, a skill. In the flow, authoritarian and commanding presence. Yeah, this is you and your person going through changes. And I feel like you're working through it. Somebody here wants you to give up. Or they want you to be reminded of something for, about them. I feel like you don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> about the past or none of that. Stay on track and keep moving forward. You guys will be seeing 888-999-555-777. Mm. so yeah 727 you could be saying so yeah this is your reading scorpio i hope this reading gave you clarity like comment subscribe uh turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my readings and i'll talk to y'all later bye